hello, it's me, JGB. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey in this segment on personal branding and documenting versus creating. I want to tell you a little bit about why I'm so interested in becoming a personal branding thought leader. Well, honestly, I am super passionate about promoting people over businesses. This is something that has always come super naturally to me. Uh, personal brands are individuals. Every individual is a super unique brand in their own right, and they are great for marketing through social media. Social media marketing and personal brands, they go hand in hand, and that's something that I know a lot about, and hence why it comes pretty naturally to me. I also love that personal brands are built on authenticity. Oh my God, you're gonna learn so much about me and my brand is totally authenticity and that's something that I really love about personal branding. Not to mention digital storytelling. You need to be telling digital stories if you're gonna be launching your personal brand and that's something I'm really interested in and there's a lot to figure out there and there's, there's lots of things I wanna discuss when it comes to all these things. So the other thing that I love, probably the thing that I love the most about personal branding is that it allows people to market themselves, market themselves, make themselves, to market themselves in a way that they can apply themselves to their skills and their passions and things that they're really good at and they can make a living out of that. And if you can make a living working for yourself, doing what you love and what you're good at, then you can actually like design your own lifestyle and do your own thing. And I think that's the coolest thing you could possibly do. And obviously this is something that I'm attempting to do in my own right. And it's, it's kind of working. Right now, it's working. So I wanna try and help other people do this too. It makes a lot of sense to me. I think we can do this. So how do you build a personal brand? Well, you've got to put yourself out there. Hence why I'm sitting here right now, sweating, nervous, not feeling like this is something I'm ready to do. It doesn't matter. You need to put yourself out there and you need to showcase. And I'm going to say on camera, I think on camera is a really important part of all this. You have to showcase your true values and you have to tell your story and you need to relate to your audience. Your brand has to speak something and your audience needs to want to see that something or to feed into that something. So you got to be authentic and you got to be honest and you got to have a story to tell and you have to have a purpose, whether it's to educate or to inspire people. If you want to put yourself out there as a personal brand, you got to be doing all those things, but you also have to be constantly doing those things. You have to essentially become a content making machine. And I need you to know right here, right now, this is not an easy thing to do. It's not, there's no way around it. It's a lot of work, but it's a great means to an end. It's, it's worth it if this is what you really want to do. So I'm going to jump into the topic of Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary Vaynerchuk is somebody whose book I read uh, in 2009. It's called Crush It, and it's teaching people how to launch their personal brands online, how to make a living out of it. When I read this, it just spoke to me in a way that I was like, dude, this guy's saying everything that I'm thinking. I was already thinking in that way. We were in this early age of social media and people putting their lives online and like having this online space where you can truly be you and like, tell people all about yourself and what you do and what you're good at and like it just had me thinking all these things and then i read his book and i was like oh my god this is amazing personal branding is super cool so gary v from the very beginning he totally opened pandora's box for me and ever since i've been following but i have to be honest gary is super effective and also very repetitive. So if you follow Gary Vee on a day-to-day -day basis, you will see that a lot of his stuff is going over the same sort of things. And you know what? Drive it home. Like, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just kind of tuned out for a while. Kind of stopped paying attention. And uh, recently, I tuned in and just had a look through his social profiles and found this video and was like, again, 
Gary Vee, 10 years later, is speaking to me directly, like directly to me. And this video was called Document, Don't Create. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about this now because Making JGB Live is totally inspired by this. He talks about creating pillar content. So you create one piece of content that you turn into multiple pieces of content. So through this personal branding talk show that I'm currently recording, uh, I am breaking stuff down into segments and I'm creating multiple pieces of content which I can then schedule and push out to multiple different platforms in different ways and hopefully, you know, in, in an effort to create lots of content, I'm, I'm using this one piece. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but Gary Vee is the one who inspired this and that's why we're all sitting here together right now. Uh, document don't create. I just shared this on my Instagram because it speaks to exactly why I'm sitting here feeling really overwhelmed on live telling you all about this. Gary says, people are not starting. They're just not making. They're thinking, they're pondering, they're strategizing, they're debating. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I can totally relate to that. Gary, I, I have been doing that for years. I have about 20 notebooks from the past 10 years filled with ideas of all the videos that I'm gonna make and how I'm gonna turn making JGB into Make Yourself and how Make Yourself is gonna be a talent agency and how I'm gonna do this and I've got this big picture, man. It's like this huge picture and it's overwhelming as all hell. And I don't know where to start or what to do. All I have is all this notebook stuff and I've spent so much time just thinking and strategizing and pondering and I, I'm here right now for this exact reason because I know that I just need to start. I gotta start somewhere. It has to start somewhere. So in this video, I'll allow you to watch that, but in this video, Gary says quite a few things and I'm just going to call attention to a few of those things now. People who start pumping out content care way too much about the camera and lighting. Yes. Okay. So in my experience of starting to create, you know, I'm like, okay, I've got these videos. I've got all these ideas. They're in my book and I'm just going to, I'm just going to start making these videos. So I'm scripting and I'm rehearsing and I've got to find, you know, the right studio set up and I need a backdrop and I need the lighting to be like this and that. And I'm rehearsing and it all, it's painful guys. It's not fun. I'm not enjoying it. It's not like, this is what I want to do for a living. This is great. It's, it's painful. It sucks. And the worst part is I'm not even happy with the result. Like I'm just, I'm, I'm not okay with any of this. And I'm thinking, oh my God, there has to be a better way to do this. Cause it's just not going to happen if I have to do this. So, uh, Gary goes on to say, you need to be thinking more about documenting than thinking about creating. I'm going, oh my God. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Cause all this stuff that I'm creating, like this is taking forever and it doesn't feel right. And I need this to feel right. I need this to be real and authentic. Okay, so then he says, you should start a pillar show. Oh, okay, I like this idea. And I've thought about this before, you know, documenting the process of something. So he goes on to say, you need to create 10 to 25 pieces of content a day. Whew. We can talk about that number in a different forum, but I think at the end of the day, what he's trying to say is don't get fancy. You can create tons of stuff as long as you document as you go along. You've gotta get creative, you've gotta come up with ideas, you can interview people, you can, you can do all sorts of stuff. Just document yourself doing it as you go along. Don't worry about the production value or any of that. I wanna add in right now that I don't really believe that this stuff is possible to be done on your own. I've made this mistake my whole life, doing shit on my own, it's hard and there are ways, affordable ways for you to get help with this sort of stuff. And that's something that I'm learning to do now. And also 
With my remote job that I have right now, there's some new opportunities coming up that have a lot to do with facilitating the process of content creation. And through Make Yourself, this project that I'm building, that is one of the main points is to help content creators by facilitating the process of content creation. Because let's be honest, creating this stuff and then pushing it out and creating thumbnails and writing SEO scripts and like all this stuff, it takes forever. It's hard work. So we'll talk about this more later, but it is possible to get affordable help. VAs are a dream these days. You can help support their careers. They can help support you. There's a difference between understanding who you are versus who you wish you were. And if you want to be really respected and known, then you need to show the fuck up. And that is why I'm here. Because of this big vision, this big picture, I, I know that I'm here. This is me here. I know where I want to be, way up here. And I need to start connecting the dots to get to there. And the only way that you can do that is by showing up. So <clears throat> here I am. It's much smarter to talk to the world about your process of going through things than talking to them about the advice that you think that you should give them. <sighs> Mind blown. Yes, totally. When you're writing out all this stuff, you're just like, oh yeah, this is what people need to know. People definitely need to know all about this. You know what? Just do it. <laughs> just do it and document yourself going through the process of doing it because that in the end will help them more than you trying to tell them what to do. I don't know about you, but when people try and tell me what to do, I take that advice a lot less than watching somebody do it and doing it my own way, right? If you're passionate about something in your world, you can make a big difference. Oh, that's nice to hear. I'm totally passionate about this and I really want to make a big difference. So you got to start pumping out content. I knew that. I just don't know how. Well, you can build a billion dollar empire on good, he says. That's, that's a big empire. That's a big goal. I'm not really shooting for a billion dollar empire. I will take it, but what matters to me in that is that it can be done on good. The whole reason I'm doing this is because I want to help people to do it too. I think we can all put ourselves out there and make a living out of our passions and work for ourselves and help others. I think that's possible. Gary thinks it's possible. He even thinks I can make billions out of it. Let's see what we can do, shall we? The only way for us to do this is to just get started. So here we are starting, even though we have no idea what we're doing. So this is it, this is the beginning. I'm totally convinced that what Gary's saying here is absolutely accurate. So I'm documenting it and I'm putting it to the test. And every week we're gonna walk through this process. I'll put my out, myself out there for you so that we can figure that, this out together. And the most important process, part of the process here, guys, is I need feedback. I need to know what you think is working and what's not working. I really want to work on this as like a collaborative project because I'm sure you have opinions and ideas. I know you have opinions and ideas. And I'm going to build a thick skin and I'm going to roll with everything that you have to say. I will take everything into consideration. So please, please share along the way. Put it in the Facebook comments when I upload videos. Share it in the YouTube comments. Whatever you've got to say, I'm totally open to it. As long as you're polite and nice about it, please. If you could put out a body of work 40 years from now that showed the process of someone who had a vision and put in the work, did it the right way, tried to help people along the way, and then actually accomplished it, how amazing would that be? Well, that's what I'm trying to do. That is actually the ultimate premise for this project, Make Yourself. I want people to tell their stories and set out their visions and set out clear goals and then document the process of themselves working through this as a means to an end. And while doing this, you'll be teaching people how to do it too. And the whole thing is just so cool. And that's... 
that's why I'm here doing this, guys. That's the end of that segment. Oh my god!